the final example, we are going to solve question number uh, nine. Okay. In question number nine, it says the burger and fries restaurant is running a promotion in which delivery orders receive a discount while dine-in orders receive no discount. So what is the input for this program? Draw a flow chart that displays, so it does not calculate, it displays, print only, the discount percentage. The program should first ask the user for two values, so this is input. Order type, it could be delivery or dine-in, and number of burgers. All our previous examples, the input, were numbers. But now here, if you look at order type, it's they, we have two types, delivery or dine-in. So it looks like they are string. And number of burgers will be integer. So we have two input, type of order and number of burgers. Let us start first writing uh, the first steps for input, and then we will come back for the rest. So we will copy these three steps from our previous example and we will just copy them and change them inside. So inside here we need to delete the messages and we need to delete this one so first we will ask for print enter order type and number of burgers and here we are going to read the order type into uh, order this is the variable name for order type and for number of burgers we will label it as burgers so we don't need this so let us see what we can do for next the program will then determine the discount as follows so determine the discount for dine in orders receive no discount so this is the first thing that we need to check for type if it is dine in then we display no discount otherwise if it is delivery then we have to check for something else let's just make the decision box and uh, we will just copy it from our gallery and arrange make our program here okay and inside we need to check for order type so order since this is a string equal dine in so we are looking for a string here if it is dine in then we are going to print a message we can just simply copy a message from here pasted remove unnecessary data okay so we don't need this and also we don't need these extra arrange our printing so we need to print a message here by saying print So what was the message? The message orders receive no discount. So we write just simply we write no discount. Okay, no discount. So this is what we are going to have. Okay, for order dine in, uh, order is equal to dine in. If order is not dine in, then we have two options: delivery. So there is no other option. So delivery. Now for delivery, we check for number of burgers it says if number of burgers up to two burgers which means less or equal to two then there is a 25 percent discount so i need a decision box here as well 
so I will copy it from here copy those copy and paste and then we will link it here so link it move it up but inside we're not going to check for order because this site for order is already delivery so we need to check for number of burgers so here we say burgers less than or equal to two if it is less than or equal to two then we will print a message here we will print print you have 25 percent and if number of burgers is more than then there is a, uh, there is a discount 40 percent so i need another print box similar to this copy and paste it so we need to attach it here there is no space so we could move the whole graph the whole flow chart we can move it a little bit to the left so we make a space and then here take it up and change the message okay you have Forty percent. So this is our exit from this branch. This is our exit from this branch. This is our exit from this branch. So there is nothing to do at the end. All what we do is just end our flow chart. And then we have to link. So we have to link and also from here and from here it's not uh, straight so from here and we have it from here and we have an arrow in both cases here we have an arrow and this is the end okay of our flowchart by then we have solved enough examples with more than one option there are other examples to try yani for example if you try number uh, th four for number four here the input is character so there is a character now we have example on reading integer. We have another example of reading a string. Now here we have reading of character, try it. Uh, the idea is almost the same as the idea of the previous examples.